Paul Mason has increasingly become a figure of ridicule on the left, particularly since Keir Starmer became leader, having for a long time been seen by many on the left as a rare media ally. He's since rallied to Starmer's side, despite everything done to the left under his leadership. However, an expose by the Grey Zone, a US Navarra type media outlet fronted by journalist Max Blumenthal, seems to have blown any such notions apart. The article is focused on emails the Grey Zone have obtained between Mason and a guy called Amal Khan, a former journalist himself now running an intelligence contractor called Ballant. Now, the bulk of the article is covering alleged collusion between Mason and Khan in order to bring the Grey Zone down. It's nothing new to see attempts to bring down alternative media, but the standout feature I wanted to discuss was that of a diagram featured in it that Mason apparently sent to Khan. He's denied it, but you have to imagine a journalist of Blumenthal's calibre has got the receipts. Just take a look at it, and you have to realise that if this really is legit, Mason's inner thinking is bizarre as well as disturbing. What this chart displays is essentially the linking of China and Russia over on the left to what are basically targets on the right. If Mason devised this, then he's chosen to link the Muslim community, the Labour left, the trade unions, the black community, and more with the Chinese and Russian state. Racism, classism, and the left as a whole are enemies of the British state by implication according to this image. It's completely unhinged. Some of it seems to be stuck on there, completely unlinked to anything, presumably because they're just opponents. Note that Diane Abbott is floating unconnected on there. The X straight left comment, whatever the hell that even means, and a bizarre link from George Galloway straight to Jeremy Corbyn, who unsurprisingly is centre of all of this. Left media is an enemy here, as well as other organisations such as Stop the War, the Peace and Justice Project, Socialist Appeal, the Connolly Association which is notable since these are Irish socialists who want a united Ireland and equality across the religious divide. But these are allegedly enemies, it seems, to Paul Mason. As I said, I've got no reason to not believe Blumenthal here, not least because we know Mason's had Starmer's ear for some time, and those targeted by this chart reflect some of Starmer's own targets, indicating some level of agreement. We also know Mason wants to be a Labour MP, and this apparently is the sort of thing he takes to the Parliamentary Party, given the chance. If true, he's not just jumped the shark with this, he shipped the fountain whilst he was at it.